Hello world! The time has come, indeed, to push the button. But in this case, it's the record button. How you're doing? Hope you're okay. 700 subscribers and counting, I hope. That's what this video is about, and news, of course. But 700 subscribers. It's, it's, a, it's a figure that I admit I never thought that I would see. So this is way more than I expected, and I've handled a number of subjects. Let's hope that it doesn't do something embarrassing and like start going down instead of flowing up. I mean, there are people that unsubscribe, and uh, because of them, the uh, the total isn't higher than it is. It's not the total amount of people that ever subscribe to me. That would probably be much larger. But some of the uns unsubscribes, the unsubs, are probably caused through misunderstanding, perhaps, of like someone that's watching one of my videos that, that touches upon something and thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, and, you know, I'd like more of this content. I'll subscribe to this guy. And then, you know, maybe I'm covering too much of another system. So, for instance, um, you know, I've done Dark Heresy before and I do Dragon Age now currently. So people that might have subscribed purely for Dark Heresy are not getting much Dark Heresy at the moment. Okay, and they might, some of them might have been unsubscribing because I'm putting out a lot of Dragon Age videos. But it doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't going to be any more Dark Heresy. And so that's the thing, really, because I, um, it's, it's, it's awkward. We aren't gaming any Dark Heresy at the moment, but we still want to do a bit more. I'll cover that, actually, in the upcoming on what, on what is coming for the future. But I think it would be better if there was a way for YouTube to to differentiate between the types of videos within a subscribers list. Because I'm very, very careful about this. I'm very organized. If you look at my channel, check my playlists list, you will see a whole lot of different types of uh, categories of playlist. And in fact, I've even filled the gaming general one up. Uh, 200 videos maxed allowed in a playlist and I had to make gaming 2 that's just the generic gaming catch-all one if you just want that whereas you know Dragon Age that's its own playlist Dark Heresy that's its own playlist Their Faded Travels that's its own playlist that one's about 18 hours long it's for a spoken word and supporting material yikes it would be good if you could subscribe but then as part of your subscription subscribe to particular playlists or or opt out of certain playlists and then it then it would be down to the creator to to uh, a creator in my case who's very sharp on the uptake for that who's very organized to help his subscribers choose what they want because then my playlists would be you know, I'd definitely put it on the upload of what the playlist is, and it wouldn't appear for them spamming up the screen of stuff they don't want until I do a video that they are interested in. So really, potentially, some of those subscription losses that occur are YouTube's fault, because they could have more here, a better system. And, you know, I've just suggested one, so YouTube, take notice. Unless YouTube's unsubscribed as well. <laughs> well, you know, 700 subscribers. I don't know what it's going to end up as in the end. Will it ever hit the big 1,000? Who knows? But it's a massive amount anyway as it is compared to my poor little funny silly vlog channel thing. Life on Rob, which, which was never re meant to be like the world shattering epic. It was just meant to be a way of like me letting off steam and, and sort of... Uh, if you're interested in my mind process, it's my thoughts, my life, and, and how life gets on top of me, and, and the silliness that is my existence, then, you know, you should be subscribed to that, because there's a lot of different kinds of concepts. I mean, I've got a fly that walks and doesn't fly, even though it's called a fly. I've got things like um, uh, a gate that leads to nowhere, a letterbox that leads to nowhere, and most recently, a door that leads to nowhere. You know, these things are important to me. <laughs> And, you know, um, <laughs> you know, just anything that might make me giggle, I'll put up there and, you know, we'll see. <laughs> and, you know, it's so variable. 
there's going to be such madness from one scale suddenly right to the other that it's just my let loose thing and I always say it's cheaper than psychiatry you really should go and subscribe to Life on Rob I made a PayPal donation button indeed I uh, made a video just for that decided right I'm gonna make one video once get it out there that's it not really touching it again except now which of course is relevant because it's the news thing about what's happened lately and happening on the upcoming so there it exists on the blog as a clickable thing and it should exist in a lot of the videos there and you click it and you get sent to PayPal and PayPal take a small percentage of that as well because you know they're the middlemen of course I set that up because you know there were people who said oh you know we'd like to be able to help you and whatever and you know it's it's my right to uh, to try and to try and um, offer that there if anyone feels so inclined. In the end, we are all performers and entertainers, aren't we? Um, in one way or another, we're donating uh, amounts of our time. It's been really quite good so far. I've had three donations, not massive amounts, but the three added up together were very helpful because they've pretty much almost paid for the world of Thedas book that I've just showed you in a recent unveiling so I mean it's the the funding is going towards the channel at least that's a positive here and you know, something that I'm using really well as a resource and, and enjoying as well and can uh, help you guys um, enjoy too and uh, I'm really happy to do that because I've had a lot of feedback on that video in fact the world of Thedas uh, book where people have said wow you know I didn't know this book existed if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have known it existed. Now I'm buying it. You know, this company should really give you money or give you these books for free. Well, Call of Cthulhu role-playing sessions were supposed to be new. They were supposed to be happening. They were supposed to have started, but uh, haven't yet. Heck, we all rolled characters, even. Um, everyone... Not everyone was ready to start it yet, though, because it's, you know, it's a big commitment taking on the new system. We want to make sure that the other strands of things are um, laid in a nice, flat, peaceful manner so that we're ready to concentrate on this over here. You don't want too many threads going at once, all blowing in the wind. Dark heresy, what gives? Well, you know, it's been stricken with problems, hasn't it? It moved over to a new GM... And we managed to get like one more session in at that point and then one more after that, after a long wait. So what I think is going to happen is that Dark Heresy will continue on in stuttered stop and starts, kind of, during Dragon Age's Season 2 downtime, which is coming up, planning on halting it around the level 9 or 10 mark, and just to finish off the rest of the modules. It would be nice to have a form of closure. And although I did come up with a few ideas that I gave to uh, the GM on things that could occur through the Jericho's backstory line that could expand for the whole group to deal with, that probably won't happen. So I could actually consider trying to make that into like some personal novella or fanfic in a fanfic type manner or, you know, heck, who knows? It may even appear as a Black Library title one day, you know, something to do with Jericus. Now that would be something interesting. They haven't had a character like that before. And then, you know, talking of fan fictions and writing stories, there was that little 165,000 word fan fiction that was an 18 hour playlist as its spoken word version called Their Fated Travels. Yes, you remember that. Yes, well, Laurie and I have been discussing things about that lately. And, uh, hmm, well, we'll see. Enough of that. As for Imperium, well, that will be forthcoming with further announcements here as they happen. Craig and Jez have not been very good on keeping up with, with things, you know, smack bottom. Mind you, no, because Jez will probably like that. Um... I too will be eventually developing some of my own systems and things, so you'll have to keep an eye out for that as it appears, as and when I'm ready to uh, announce, when I don't think I've got too much else on my plate, which is definitely occurring. My plate is building, and it's a bigger plate as well. Um, 
Well, yeah, the, the, you know, more Imperium is coming. I can tell you now they are writing. Even, like, recently uh, they've, they've been writing. So they're doing it at their pace, and something will get out there when it gets out there, and you'll, you'll be told about it on here, okay? Well, yes, I'm actually working on a, on a module, actually, currently, for the age system, and you'll be able to uh, get your hands on that, actually, sooner than you think. It's a co-written piece. I'm going to do a video completely about that anyway announcing it separately so look for that in the upcoming as well as usual you can find me on twitter and google plus below S subscribe to the uh, the blog which is again a link below in the crotch bar so you don't miss anything i do i do a lot of other things and have done on some other things that aren't really to do with this channel really my blog is is my uh, i look at it at the moment as my online presence my portfolio of madness happenstance and uh... You know, just again, you know, for getting me to the 700 subscribers point, and uh, recently hitting the 100,000 views, you know, I think that was a wonderful milestone, and I couldn't do it without you. So let's keep the community alive, and uh, I hope to produce more things for you and with you in the upcoming and that's right there's a time when I want to collaborate with all of you mm. alright I'll see you at the table thanks everyone